So this is a pacemaker implant. We begin with a sterile prep of the skin. We surround that sterile preparation with these sterile blue towels. So we're trying to create a very sterile working environment. Then the patient get, gets covered with this total body sterile drape, like you see here being unfolded. And this is all to minimize infection. The sterile ioband patch then goes directly over the skin and we'll be working through the ioband patch. So here's our setup. So I come into the case, I do a sterile, sterile hand scrub, I'll get a sterile gown, double glove, minimize the chance of infection, here we go with the double gloves, and we are ready to work. So we approach our table, the first thing we'll do is a venogram, so we're going to image the vein through which we're going to implant the pacing leads. So there is the vein, the large vein flowing down into the heart, and we'll use the location of that and the edge of the ribs to actually plan our incision so the pacemaker sits over the edge of the rib. So here we're actually identifying it under the x-ray and using black markers to show us exactly where our skin incision should be. We numb it up with lidocaine so the patient is anesthetized, won't feel uh, anything as we make our insertion. That's the lidocaine going into the skin. Just under the superficial layer, we apply generous amounts so there's no chance of the patient having any discomfort at all. And there we are making our incision as planned so that the final pacemaker will sit over the rib margin, which that other straight line identified. Then we extend the incision down to the muscle. This is with uh, electrocautery as you see here. Then from the base of that insertion site through the muscle we use a needle to gain access to that large vein which we imaged. And there you see our needle coming in from the right. We're over the first rib. We get a little flash of blood black that lets us know we're in the vein. Uh, this is kind of a delicate step. The syringe comes off and then through that needle we're going to pass a guide wire through the insertion needle, through the vein, down into the heart, and this is the track over which we'll implant the leads. Now it's exchanging that needle for a series of sheaths. Here's the first sheath. This is with a micropuncture kit, so the first sheath is kind of small. We remove that, remove the guide wire, and then through that first small sheath, we implant the larger guide wire, which will support the sheath that we'll use to implant the pacing leads. So there you see that larger guide wire going in through the veins, in down to the heart. Out comes the outer sheath. So first of all, we'll get the second access site for the second ins insertion. This is the second access site for the second lead down to the bottom chamber of the heart. There's our needle accessing the vein, passing the guide wires exactly as before as we get that second insertion site. And here is the outer sheath, the larger sheath through which we'll implant the pacing lead. So that goes over the guide wire into the vein. And you can see us advancing that here into the vein to guide our lead. There it is on the x-ray image advancing into the vein and now through that sheath we're advancing that pacing lead also looks like a wire down into the heart where, we're, where we will position that. And here we're shaping the outer, the inner stylet that goes through the lead body. This is going to lift the tip of the lead into the final position. We're trying to pace the heart from the top of the heart, if you will, from the conduction system. We call it the his bundle. We want to engage the normal conduction system directly so that the pacing of the heart is entirely physiologic through the normal conduction system. So there we're advancing that stylet through the lead. This lifts the lead tip, as you see, and we're using that to be slowly withdrawn to engage the conduction system and um, the bottom blue line is us recording from the heart. We see that the conduction system signals are there. Pacing confirms that we can pace satisfactorily from that location and having confirmed the good lead characteristics we extend the set screw at the tip of the lead securing it into the heart muscle. That inner stylet is there then carefully withdrawn as we um, put just the right amount of slack on the pacing lead. There's our device reps helping us with the lead characteristics as we uh, work through the case. And there again, those beautiful conduction signals that we had from the start of the procedure. Our nurse attends to the patient, takes care of all of that person's needs, makes sure they're completely comfortable. There we are removing that outer sheath. It's a, it's a breakable sheath that we then peel away to take it off of the lead. And we'll remove that entirely from the body. We anchor the lead to the muscle, directly to the chest muscle, secure it firmly so it cannot move and matures exactly in that spot. So there we are anchoring the lead to the muscle with a non-resorbable suture. 
There's our pacing lead, beautifully moving with the motion of the heart at the top of the heart, engaging the conduction system directly. And there we in, insert the same sheath like before to advance the lead for the top chamber. And there you see the second lead now in position in the top chamber of the heart. We record the electrical signals from the top chamber. Beautiful, nice current of injury, which is what we look for, the width of that blue signal. We can pace satisfactorily from that site. And like before, we extend the set screw into the muscle with that twisting motion. The stylet will then be withdrawn. We add adequate slack to the lead, remove that outer breakable peel away sheath just like before take it away from the body and like the bottom lead we attach the top lead firmly to the chest muscle so it cannot move and will mature perfectly in that site so this is what we're doing here it's a little bit tedious but we take it very seriously so that lead system is very secure and stable for the patient here we are opening the pacemaker. It's a sterile device. Take off the outer cover. There's the pacemaker unit. That's the battery and the computer. The leads are going to plug directly into that header. We flush out the tissue pocket that we created with a sterile flush. Uh, make sure everything's nice and clean. Good hemostasis. No additional bleeding. There we're implanting the leads into the header of the pacemaker. We use a set screw again to secure those leads into the header of the pacemaker so they can't come out. Make sure they're secure. This particular patient wanted us to go under the muscle with the pacemaker. We call that a submuscular pocket. So after numbing it up, we create a tissue plane under the muscle fibers so the pacemaker can sit actually below the top layer of the chest muscle. And there we are creating that extra pocket. The pacemaker is now inside and we are closing those chest muscle layers over top of the pacemaker it is, so it is completely underneath the muscle. Following this, we'll close the skin. We typically use three layers to close the skin a nice secure pocket great cosmetic result excellent structural integrity minimizes the chance of infection and there we are doing the final skin layer to make that um, a very nice incision and that will determine the final cosmetic result and the minimum scarring so here we are placing strips over the incision site that we have sutured shut. These are the final bandages. We'll ask the patient to keep those dry for the next seven to 10 days till we see them in the device clinic and we will be the ones to peel off those strip bandages. They add as much structural integrity as the final layer of suture. And there is the final result through the IO band. We peel all of the Dressings away, put the final dressing over top of our steri strips, and this patient will be ready to leave the procedure suite. Typically, we'll keep them one night overnight, device interrogation in the morning, chest x-ray in the morning, then home the same day. And there's the final position of our lead system, moving beautifully with the motion of the heart, top and bottom chambers, his bundle pacing, beautiful pacemaker sitting over the lateral rib margin, will be comfortable for the patient. He will not even know that it is there.